Hello and welcome to NTC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Sunday was the foundation day of Yoga Dharnendra. During this program, people from other countries including Germany, Japan, Europe and China were too participated. Basically, Yoga Dharnendra is a multi-purpose charitable society which work for the education and advancement of children. It was established in the year 2010 by Dr. Tanu Varma. Yoga Dharnendra offers a lot of activities for underprivileged children. Various cultural activities, many motivational speeches are part of this curriculum. Yoga practice under the supervision of professional instructor is followed by meditation, chanting of mantras, art, classical dance, physical training as well as self-defense techniques are imparted by the organization. In the year 2010, Yoga Dhanendra was established by Dr. Tanu. Sunday was its foundation day as part of which various programs were conducted. Dr. Tanu Verma shared in detail information about the various education and social initiatives undertaken by the organization. A program was organized by Bureau of Indian Standards, Nagpur, a branch office on Wednesday morning at a primary health center, Borkhedi, on sanitation and health care standards for the ASHA workers of Borkhedi. Around 40 members attended the program. SPO Isha Kurana gave a deep insight on Bureau of Indian Standards. She further briefed about the various formulations, product certification scheme, compulsory registration scheme, foreign manufacturer certification scheme, hallmarking scheme, laboratory service, laboratory recognition schemes, consumer affair activities, promotional activities, training services, national and international level information services. She also shared details about various healthcare standards used in the medical field. A very well explained the scope of standardization in the field of medical equipment and hospital planning department. She covered the topic of standard formulation in MHD with overview of Divisional Council Selection Committee, Subcommittee and Panels. Sonam Tiwari, who hails from Nakhul, was sent the crown with Mrs. India Universe exclusively and extraordinarily season. Two believes in a making society to be a better place for women. The winner of Mrs. India Universe exclusively and extraordinary season 2 was addressing the media at press conference organized at Press Club Nakhul on Wednesday. Explaining about her initiative, Sonam said, in association with Kala Bharti Foundation, I have pledged to help the skilled and but less fortunate for under and privileged women. Sonam is the brand ambassador of Kalabhati Foundation that promotes the writing, singing and other art forms that can be developed with legit training. Also, the foundation makes available the platform to publish the artworks, literature, arts, culture and art of living life are basic areas that are taken care by this foundation as strugglers are guided to excel in their respective fields. Cold wave continues to grapple the orange city as the resident work up to the another cold morning of the winter season. However, this time Mercury recorded a slight change in minimum temperature of 0.9 degrees Celsius. With a minimum temperature of 8.5 degrees Celsius, the orange city is second lowest in the weather region. The regional meteorological center said the minimum temperature here will remain around the same for the next three days and there is a possibility of the mercury rising after December 23rd. Besides Nagpur, various other places in Vidarbha region continues to record cold wave and drop in temperature. On Wednesday, Gertrude continues to record lowest temperature in Vidarbha region of 8.4 degrees Celsius. Amravati 8.9 degrees Celsius, Gondia 9 degrees Celsius, Vardha 9.4 degrees Celsius, Yavatmal 10 degrees Celsius, Brahmapuri and Chandrapur simultaneous 10.02 degrees Celsius each, Akola 11.3 degrees Celsius, Buldhana 11.6 degrees Celsius and Washim 12.5 degrees Celsius. A five-year-old boy knocked dead after a rash due on private bus commuting between the Umred Nakur route hit him near Simati Radhikatai Pandav College of Engineering here on Wednesday. Arc over the incident, the local citizens reportedly broke the glasses of the bus. The disease has been identified as Shubham Sajan Kakre, a resident of Park Shivani. According to reliable sources, the rash led Juan bus drove over Shubham near Radhikabai Pandav College. Little Shubham succumbed to his injuries on the spot. Fumed over the incident, some local broke the glasses of the bus, though the bus driver reported to fled the spot, fearing the wrath of the mob. The accused driver is still at large and local police are locating his whereabouts. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach dikhaye, bina chupaye.